So this is where calories in, calories out fails. It fails in a lot of ways. I'm really glad it works for some people and I applaud the people trying to promote it online, but those who are militant about it clearly don't understand metabolic health and the nuances of it. They clearly don't understand hormones. They clearly don't, have, let's talk about leptin and light, right? I mean, you need you need light exposure and you need circadian rhythm balancing in order for your body to actually not go into metabolic illness. So there's lots of factors here. There's toxicity. There's so many factors involved as to why a human's body may not want to give up fat. It may be holding it for various reasons. Some of it may be emotional. You know, maybe these people had a lot of adverse childhood events, have dealt with some abuse. A lot of women have dealt with severe abuse and end up packing on weight as a response to that seemingly out of nowhere. So lots of reasons. There's people who were thrust into severe metabolic dysfunction, even type two diabetes, even type one diabetes after COVID because viruses, any virus can have a potential ill effect on different body systems.